In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Key points and formulas in critical care medicine. Hypernatremia is defined as a serum sodium concentration greater than 145 milliequivalent per liter. Please do not miss to measure serum chloride. Please do not comment on serum sodium without correlating serum chloride. We have many important correlation between serum and chloride. Chloride to sodium index equals 74%, what it denotes when it is higher or lower. The chloride to sodium index can also replace strong ion difference with a cutoff point greater than 0.77 for metabolic acidosis and less than 0.75 for metabolic acidosis. Strong ion difference equals sodium minus chloride equals 40 milli equivalent per liter, if it is more than 40 it denotes metabolic alkalosis, and if it is less than 40 it denotes metabolic acidosis. Anion gap equals sodium minus, bicarbonate plus chloride, equals 12 milli equivalent per liter, if more than 12 it is high anion gap, and, if less than 12 it is low anion gap. The serum sodium concentration, can be seen as a function of the total exchangeable sodium and potassium in the body and the total body water. The formula is expressed below. Serum sodium equals sodium total body plus potassium total body over total body water. Consequently, hypernatremia can only develop because of either a loss of free water, or a gain of sodium, or a combination of both. Also, hyponatremia can only develop, because of either a gain of free water, or a loss of sodium, or a combination of both. Total body water refers to, the lean body weight of the patient. Total body water equals weight in kilograms multiplied by correction factor. Correction factors are as follows. Children, 0.6. Non-elderly men, 0.6. Non-elderly women, 0.5. Elderly men, 0.5. Elderly women, 0.45. Causes of hypernatremia are 1. Combined loss can be seen in extrarenal conditions such as gastroenteritis, vomiting, prolonged nasogastric drainage, burns, and excessive sweating. This means excessive loss of chloride and water. So, chloride sodium index less than 5%. 2. Renal losses can be seen in intrinsic renal disease, post obstructive diuresis, and with the use of osmotic or loop diuretics. Hyperglycemia and mannitol are common causes of osmotic diuresis. 3. Free water loss is seen with central or nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, DI. Chloride sodium index equals 75%. 4. Post sodium bicarbonate infusion for acidosis correction, chloride sodium index less than 75%. When you look at this table, you will find that serum sodium is higher than the standard state, but when you study chloride simultaneously, you will find it higher than standard, but chloride sodium index is normal 74%. This means there is loss of water and hemoconcentration. At the same time when you calculate the strong ion difference it is more than 40 milli equivalent per liter which means metabolic alkalosis. Rate of correction of hypernatremia. It is important to remember that rapid correction of hypernatremia can lead to cerebral edema because water moves from the serum into the brain cells. The goal of therapy is to correct both the serum sodium and the intravascular volume. Hypernatremia may be acute or chronic. Acute hypernatremia developed within 24 hours. In this case we correct the serum sodium, decrease serum sodium, at an initial rate of 2 to 3 milli equivalent per liter per hour, for 2 to 3 hours with a maximum total correction in a day of 12 equivalent per liter per day. Chronic hypernatremia is that developed in more than 24 hours, with no or mild symptoms, should be corrected, decreased, at a rate not to exceed 0.5 milli equivalent per liter per hour, and a total of 8 to 10 milli equivalent per day. For example, if serum sodium equals 160 milli equivalent per liter, your target value of correction should be either 150 or 152 milli equivalent per liter in 24 hours. Water deficit or excess. 
Water deficit equals percent body water multiplied by lean body weight multiplied by current serum sodium minus ideal serum sodium over ideal serum sodium. Suppose current measured serum sodium equals 160 milli equivalent per liter in chronic hypernatremia. Lean body weight equals 70 kg. Target serum sodium equals 145 milli equivalent per liter. Water deficit equals 0.5 multiplied by 70 multiplied by 15 over 145 equals 3.6 liter water which equals 7.2 liter half saline. Correction rate equals 160, minus 145 over 0.25 equals 60 hours. Rate of infusion half normal saline equals 7.2 multiplied by 1000 over 60 equals 120 ml per hour for 60 hours. Correction of the cause in hypernatremia is important. In hypervolemic and hypernatremic patients who have an impaired renal excretion of sodium and potassium for example after renal failure, an addition of a loop diuretic boluses increases renal sodium excretion. Fluid loss during loop diuretic therapy must be restored with the administration of fluid that is hypotonic to the urine. Use of hydrochlorothiazide, 25 mg per day for up to 7 days, for hypernatremia acquired in the ICU did not have a significant effect on serum or urinary sodium concentration. Hypernatremia in the setting of volume overload, as in, heart failure and pulmonary edema, may require dialysis for correction. Correction of hypokalemia and hypercalcemia, as etiologies for nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, may be required. Vasopressin, AVP, DAFP, should be used, for the treatment of central diabetes insipidus. The serum sodium level usually is low in DKA patients. The osmotic effect of hyperglycemia moves extravascular water to the intravascular space. For each 100 mg percent of glucose over serum glucose 100 mg percent, the serum sodium level is lowered by approximately 1.6 milli equivalent per liter. When glucose levels fall, the serum sodium level rises by a corresponding amount. Corrected sodium equals measured sodium plus 1.6 multiplied by plasma glucose minus 100 over 100. The corrected sodium represents the expected serum sodium concentration in the absence of hyperglycemia. If a patient with DKA, with blood sugar equals 500 mg percent and serum sodium equals 142 milli equivalent per liter. Initial correction of fluid loss is either by isotonic sodium chloride solution or by lactated ringer solution. Then go for water deficit correction. Corrected sodium equals 142 plus 1.6 multiplied by 500 minus 100 over 100 equals 148.4 milli equivalent per liter. Water deficit equals 0.5 multiplied by 70 multiplied by 148.4 minus 145 over 145 equals 0.82 liter water which equals 1.6 liter half normal saline. Rate of infusion 0.5 milli equivalent per liter per hour. Time of infusion equals 148.4 minus 145 over 0.5 equals 6.8 hours. Rate of infusion of 1.6 liter half normal saline equals 1.6 multiplied by 1000 over 6.8 equals 235 ml per hour. Thank you. If you want more data, you can open ochmetagland.com website.